Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today I'm showing you how I do a sketchbook study of night flowering catchfly. Welcome back, guys. This channel is all about learning how to paint with watercolors and create botanical paintings. Today I'm not doing a formal style painting, part of my 50 flowers project, which I have been showing you a lot of those lately. I am working in my sketchbook today and I always get really inspired in the spring summer to do sketchbook work just because there's so many beautiful fresh plants and flowers out. And today I am drawing and painting some night flowering catchfly. The Latin name for this plant is Celine Noctiflora and that's referencing that the flowers mostly bloom at night. Some of the flowers end up closing as morning is approaching other um, species or var variations close more closely to about noon and they do catch insects from what I've read they don't actually dissolve and digest them but they have a glandular sort of sticky substance and they catch them with little sticky bits and they get um, sort of attracted to go into the bladder of the plant there which I've done a cross dissection of so I can uh, do an enlarged painting of it so that's where the name catchfly comes from. And I think it's a really interesting plant. So I'm using my 48 pan Monio palette to paint this little study and I'm lightening the pencil with my kneaded eraser as I go. This is a great way to make your painting look cleaner and more professional. Just not having a heavy pencil line showing through. And I just do it step by step so I can see my drawing as I move along. And I have used a bit of wet on wet um, technique here, but I'm using my Pentalic sketchbook and it's a little less sturdy than my Arsha's paper. So I switched from wet on wet to wet on dry for my initial washes. <clears throat> and I'm using a light green medium green and dark green as usual so just use whatever colors you have to mix up three different greens and i'm using a double zero brush for the stem and a lot of the parts of the flowers and dry brushing on this little study as it's um, small flowers and little stems and i didn't make the stem exactly straight there so i will go back with my chisel brush and fix that up and now I'm just painting in the bladder of the first flower and then using light gray to paint in the shadows on the white flower. I like to use ultramarine and light red to mix up a nice gray color for um, white flowers that's not too heavy and dark. And again, just sort of, I'm not using um, the exact flowers, the reference, I'm just looking at them and kind of painting in where I think shadows might be, but I'm not spending too much time on this as it's my sketchbook. And if I did that, then I'd never get anything done. So I just do my best and take a look at my reference material for inspiration. And then just using the same brush to make some of the rib lines on the bladder, and then I'll just soften them up a bit. And pretty much that is what I'll do for all of the stems and flowers as I go around and paint them. And I'm just trying to use as few layers as possible just because this paper takes a little less brush work than the Arsha's paper. And um, I don't want it to look too overworked.
Now I'm just adding in the little stamens of the flowers that come out um, on each edge and then I'm using that chisel brush to clean up some of the edges and just make the stem look a bit straighter and thinner. It's always easy to get your stem looking a little too thick as you make a mistake and you try and even it out and then it gets thicker and thicker. And so I just lightened up some areas and later I'll go in with darker paint and just make more contrast where there's overlaps or where um, the stem is underneath a little leaf. And then the lightening that I've done plus the darker paint will just give it a better contrast.
Yeah, I'm getting close to finishing up this sketchbook study and I've also labeled everything as you could see at the beginning of the video and I did it in pencil first and then went over with my waterproof uh, Pigna, Pigma um, marker or sorry pen it's a 0.3 nib I believe and it's nice to have something that's waterproof in your sketchbook just in case you decide to paint over a portion of it or a little bit of water gets on it so you don't get ink bleeding everywhere and just finishing up on this cross section of the bladder I really enjoyed painting this. I think one of my favorite parts was adding the sort of night dark background around the uh, flower close up. I really like how that worked out. Um, and I had just used black and Payne's gray to mix that up. And so I think I might use that technique more often in my sketchbook. I'm trying to get creative with how I lay things out and do more work in my sketchbook so stay tuned for more videos on these little sketchbook studies i'd love to hear what you think of this in the comments below and what type of sketchbook um, studies and layouts you'd like to see thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another new video next week if you like this video please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below i'd love to hear from you